Hey, what's going on, guys? I was down here uh, messing with my airbrush, and I got an email saying I got a notification for delivery. I'm like, huh, what did I get? Um, got a box. Um, I'm going to open it up here in a second, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I don't know if any of you watched the video on the uh, Stuart Simple Black 2.0. Uh, this stuff is supposed to be like the flattest, blackest black paint you can get. Um, this is the black 3.0, I think. I got it open up. It doesn't really say on the box, but I suspect that's what it is because I've been getting emails from them a lot lately. So uh, let's pop it open and check it out. to go with my 2.0 hashtag upgrade <laughs> I like that <clears throat> super flat super bad ultra pigmented acrylic paint cool very cool cool packaging too but what Coupon. Buttons. Stickers. Mm -hmm. The blackest black. More than blackest black. But yellow. need to do a comparison here. All right, I'm gonna continue my little experiment. I'm gonna squirt some on some paper, smear it around, let it dry. And we're gonna see which one's victorious. And these are other samples I've done in black. That's 2.0, that's 2.0 with primer. This was 2.0, trying to spray it at first and then I just smeared it around. Gotta find some more cards.
All right, even before this is dry, it's still a little wet over here. You can see little wet spots throughout. You can see the difference. I mean, it's hard for the camera to pick it up unless I adjust the brightness, which I can do. You can see the difference in how dark this side is compared to that side. And there wasn't much difference in time. Like this was about a minute and a half after I finished painting that. So it's a lot darker already. Um, look at that. Camera has a seriously hard time picking it up. I'm gonna do some more experiments, experiments once it's dry completely, but that is darker for sure. All right, so it's fully dry now. Um, it is noticeably darker. I mean, the camera's really picking it up right there. It's kind of reflecting light. You can see this is so much darker than the 2.0. I mean, the 2.0 next to it looks like gray, and I, I can tell you right now, it's, it's very black, but like the 3.0 is way darker. And like the camera, if I, this I painted, also and it just disappears on it where when I was doing that with the 2.0 stuff it didn't really disappear I could still kind of see it so I have one last test I want to do because the color and the flatness is perfect it's exactly as they described it I think um, it's probably uh, as good as it's gonna get maybe they can do better I don't know but uh, I want to know if it will spray. Um, 2.0 clogs up my airbrush something fierce. I had to fully disassemble it and clean it to get all that out. Um, I'm hoping this one I can thin down and I can spray through my airbrush um, because if I can then it becomes a whole lot cooler to me anyway. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna try next. I'm gonna squirt some in the airbrush, some thinner, mix it up, I'm gonna spray it on something and hope for the best. Will it mix? It will not. At least not with lacquer thinner. Hmm. Super. Well, <laughs> strike one. I guess I gotta clean it out now. Great. Alright, this time I'm just gonna try water. Try to put a drop. with water. Well, it's doing that weird foamy stuff again. I don't know if that's going to work. It's like soap. see if it's actually mixed down there because it's just like suds on the top let's just give it a quick good old-fashioned try here in it, but something tells me that's not going to make a difference. put two drops of paint and like one drop of water in there like it's seriously it just like makes suds 
it's all air, but it looks like it's very full. But there's hardly any, any like liquid in there. It's just all bubbles. And uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna try and spray some. Round two with just water. It's like. It's like it's trying to spray, but it's all bubbles, so it doesn't quite go through. I mean, it sprays better than it did, but it's still strange. It's not clogging the airbrush, I don't get that impression. I don't know, that's super strange. I mean, technically you can spray it, it just, it sucks to spray. It really does. So I think brushing it on is the only option because when you mix it with something it, and you try to, like maybe it's because I'm using a pipette or something, but like it just turns into foam. Like, and even the texture it sprays is a little weird. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera here. Having a super hard time focusing on black, but it's it's weird. Oh well, it is super black, and that is I guess the goal of the paint is to be super black, super flat, super matte, and uh, I think that uh, it, it accomplishes that. Um, it doesn't spray like I wish it would, but you know I can still use it. So. It's neat. I'm going to play with it.